guys welcome back to another episode of katie tv i'm your host and officially this makes two years since i started my youtube channel so happy birthday to katie tv let's go okay so fun thing i like to do for every single time that i do a um a yearly anniversary is um saying happy birthday to my channel so i got a cute little tiny cheesecake um last year i did a um a, like a korean yogurt because that's all i had but this time we're gonna do a little cheesecake because i actually had one in my house yeah okay okay ready everyone happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday katie tv Happy birthday to you. Don't mind my voice. Can't tell you what it is because then it won't come true. So what we're gonna do today is I actually had um, a poll open uh, for you guys to fill out. So we're gonna go through and like look to see what everyone said, shout some people out after that. I'm gonna go over, I wanna talk about like my goals for my next year and like the ones that I accomplished. And that's kind of what we're gonna do today. It's, gonna, it's just gonna be a celebration for my channel. A very short, sweet celebration for my channel because it is 118. I have to leave to go to Atlanta to see Card and at 130. So this is this is going to be a quick one. Okay. <laughs> okay, and we got a decent amount of responses, so I do have some percentages. So like things that I asked were like um what group do you oh, like what's your favorite group? It's pretty even. Every, the ones that got chosen were Stray Kids, EXO, ATs, Tomorrow by Together. Someone said, I have a lot of them, maybe like 10 ults. <laughs> Astro, Dual Nations, and Ace. Ace is great. And someone said 17. Shout out to whoever said 17 because they are my ults as well. Now the question I asked was, who is your favorite soloist? Some said BI. Um, a decent amount said Park Jihoon. Some more people said Wano. Uh, some people said Alexa, Woods, Hyuna, and Eric Nam. Most people that responded to my poll were already subscribers. One person was a new subscriber and one person was going to subscribe. And mostly based off my channel or how you guys found me, most of you guys found me on Instagram or on TikTok. Some people met me at concerts, met me at Otakon, which is a um, anime convention, but they also had a lot of K-pop events. So I did meet some people there. And then someone said all the above. <laughs> okay, so I did wanna ask like what, as a current subscriber, what's your favorite content for me to put out? That's what I asked. Um, some people said hauls, uh, people said reactions. Actually, almost everyone except for two people said reactions. One person said hauls, then somebody else said everything. <laughs> so I appreciate you, whoever said everything. I love you so much. Thank you guys for supporting me and for filling this out for me. I'm very grateful. Um, then I said, ask me a question. It can be literally anything. Would you consider vlogging your K-pop experiences? Yes, I'm actually going to try to vlog my card experience um, this weekend. I'll be gone for a few days. So I have some time to kind of explore Atlanta a little bit. I always forget to vlog wherever I go, y'all. I'm just so in the moment that I really do forget uh, to like record cool things for you guys. So this time I did, I did do it. I started, so hopefully I finish. I'm gonna try to finish. Okay, top debut songs this year of all time. We love a good rank. Mm, debut songs? Oh gosh, who debuted this year? I'm, I can say like my favorite debut songs of all time. Oh, it says or of all time. One of my favorite debut songs is Run by Luminous. If you don't know the song, I need you to go listen to it. It's a great freaking song and they're so underrated. That song is a hit. Like that song hits like every time I hear it, it's like, mm. it just like changes my mood. So that's like one of my favorite debut songs. Um, TAN's debut song was great. Um, do 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 such a good song such a good song those are like probably my favorite two debut songs i've ever heard they still hit to this day um let's see would you fly to la for a dkb concert absolutely not unless i had the financial capability or if i was already going to la i think i know who asked that um but no hell no the answer is hell no because i live on the east coast and that's a lot for just one show if it was like kcon or something then yes but right now it's kcon because they're racist but if you know you know What's your favorite part of reacting or recreating outfits? Yes. So if you guys don't know, I do recreate 
a lot of stage like outfits for groups whenever I go to shows like whenever I go to concerts like and particularly for card I'm gonna be doing this beauty for someone's outfit um, that she wore to it's live for the uh, icky release so I am doing that one so please look forward to that I'll have TikToks and reels and stuff and shorts yeah shorts to come out for that um, my favorite part is just making it my own so sometimes whenever I do male like male idols uh, outfits I'll change them make them film so if you ever saw like um, my S Coops outfit for 17 or my Hyunjin outfit for Stray Kids those are two examples of me making a masculine outfit film but also still being noticeably that outfit if that makes sense so that's my favorite part is just making them film and making them different but still noticeably that outfit if that makes sense it's my favorite part would you ever do a panel at a K for K-pop at a convention? I would love to do a panel. Um, I'm really edu like educated as far as music goes, and I love this. Like I love doing this channel. I love doing my other social medias and my Pinterest. So absolutely, I would love to. If that opportunity ever came, I would absolutely do that. And I want to start a podcast as well. That's one of the goals that I have. Um, so yeah, I would absolutely do that. I would love to do a panel. That would be so much fun and so cool. I'd love to like interview idols too like I would love to interview artists and creators and even like down to the nitty-gritty the producers and um the creative directors I would love to be a part of that too just to hear the influence and the interest and what made them decide to go with that concept I would love to so if anyone out there is hunting for someone pick me please uh, <laughs> what's your favorite outfit that you have recreated um it's between my Hongjun outfit from day two or day one of ATs. Between that outfit and um, I have to say my Hyunjin, maybe my Hyunjin outfit. That's like one of my favorite outfits I've ever done. Like I really put a lot of thought and effort into that one. I don't know. I like them. I like them all. My TXT one was also a lot of hard work, but I also love that one as well. It was like an anti-romantic type outfit. If you had a sleepover, who would you invite? It can be literally anyone a sleepover alexa my girl ariana grande my favorite artist ever and probably doja cat like i really love doja cat a lot i love her energy i love her um creativity her sense of creativity it's so beautiful but also my friends like this is just famous people but like my friends from i would love to have like a big sleepover event k-pop event with all my friends that are all over the world because i have k-pop friends and um Atlanta, I have K-pop friends in LA, I have friends in um, Texas, I have friends in New York, I have friends in London, um, I have a friend in Bangladesh, like I have friends everywhere. So I would love for them to all just come and me like have fun with them. What's the biggest learning curve starting your own channel and becoming a K-pop influencer? Okay, I personally don't think I'm an influencer yet. Um, I'm still start getting started too. Um, but honestly, finding your groove and what works for you the best and honestly try just try everything try everything and just keep getting better like like my intros for my channel i do it myself like i make them i make the artwork i not completely the artwork for this year but i make all i do all the graphic design and uh formatting and i make them and i get people that are producers and like songwriters to make my beats for me but Everything else I do myself. It takes forever. All my promos, all my flyers, like I make myself. And it just helps you grow as an artist and as a creator. My first video I've ever put on YouTube is, no, like you can't find it, it's private. Like no one can see that video because it's so bad. And I don't want anyone to see it. It's so bad compared to the quality I have now. And it's terrible. Like I didn't even have a computer. Like I have a computer now. Like I edited it on my phone, on like iMovie and it's terrible. Just start start and keep going always keep going do you have any concert rituals or something you bring to every concert i really have rituals i just keep things in my bag like i keep wet wipes in my bag i keep like a perfume in my bag like my concert my clear concert bag i keep cough drops to keep my throat because like we scream a lot at shows so i keep cough drops chapstick i have like a, a fan that i keep keep me cool and i keep a makeup wipe like a it's like in a little pack i always bring my protective earwear Pro tip, always wear it. Even if you think you don't need it, even if you're young, always wear ear protection. Um, I think I use Loop is the brand. I got off Amazon for like 20 bucks and I use them every time I go. Pro tip, 
what's something you would like to see me do in the future this is what i asked for people to um say to me vlogs okay yes interviews on the street when you go to couple of the concerts that is a good idea i'll we're gonna take note for that fly to la for dkv haha <laughs> i keep dreaming babe um clothing hauls i would actually i actually do want to do that fashion looks yes both of those i want to do for my youtube channel and for my tiktok so yes concert vlogs concert vlogs album unboxings i already do those but yes be successful i would love to see you see your platform continue to grow thank you i love you so much word of encouragement for me to go to my next year i'm so proud of you can't wait to see how this year goes thank you you're so creative and genuine with your words and your personality and lovability shines through the camera thank you i love you which makes it so easy to watch your content i love i hope you have nothing but continued success still come over for tapoki after you blow up and get famous i will i love you kayla i love you kayla my girl you got this. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I love you so much. You're always an inspiration to me. It's Ariana. Hello, baby. My girl as well. That's my friend in LA that's like, come to LA. Um, you're doing amazing. Can't wait to see what else you got. Thank you. Um, hey, girl. It's your Otakon line buddy. My girl. You keep doing you, hun. I believe this channel will pick up some very serious traction. Thank you. I really have the, you really have the best personality and it shines through your channel. I support you every step. Shannon. Love you, Shannon. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing amazing. And if you're feeling down some days, keep going. I love you. Isalam. My girl, I love you so much. Um, so thank you to everyone who filled out this questionnaire. I really appreciate it. It means so much to have people take the time to just do this because I really am curious about the audience I have and I want to know what you guys want, you know? So um, thank you for submitting those responses. My goals for last year were to hit a million views and to reach a thousand subscribers. Those are my two biggest goals that I had last year. So update, I have over 2 million views. Slay, one of my reels or one of my shorts has a million views. So that really helped me out. But I have over 2 million views as of now. And I have almost 1500 subscribers. I have a 1,460 something right now. So I hit my goals uh, tenfold. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. I love you so much. And I think my goals for next year, this next season of my channel, season three, um, my goals right now are to become monetized. I want to be paid on my channel. I want to make money off my channel. Um, and my other goal is to get my first paid sponsorship and sponsored video. So those are my goals for the next year. Um, thank you guys for just being here with me along the way. I love you so much. Um, again, thank you to everyone who submitted. I appreciate you more than you will know. Um, and I'm really happy to see where we go this year. So just stick with me through it and we'll finish this ride out strong. But thanks guys for the endless support. I love you so much. And I'll see you guys next time here on Katie TV. Bye.